HI1 calendar. And this is just the regular HI1, but or HI1, however you pronounce it. And it's just got some added technology onto it. For example, it highlights today's date. Today's the 8th for me, so you can see that's a special color. And anything that is got a has a blue underline, you can tap that and it'll explain it to you. Like, let's say I don't know what P, P, R, O, J means. You just tap that and it explains it to you in just plain old English. And I maintain all these codes, like 15. If I don't know what a 15 is on the RMV column, I just hit that, unpaid adjustment. SB, so I got it, the trip from standby. I got this trip from standby. Um, another cool thing this does, like if you don't uh, have really good eyes anymore, you can pinch and zoom, and you can see better. And you can see this top column here will stay put, and the bottom part, you'll scroll up and down so you'll know what this column over here means because the column header stays on the top here. And a display, nothing more. Um, another cool thing this this uh, HI1 thing does is you see the date on the top. If you touch that, anything with a red dot on it is a saved version of your HI1. So if you want to see what your HI1 was, let's say August 2nd, and you can touch the time. There's only one import that month, otherwise it'd be more options. And all these times I just imported once. But there's one with two options. So if I want to see the one at 520, hit view, it'll pull up this old HI1. So that is how that magic works. And you can always touch your trip and it will pull it up like that. There you go. Oh, this, uh, I forgot to mention that blue icon means there's a pilot mail.